me. This is my friend Katie. Uh, this is my friend Lauren. She's gonna drive you home, okay? Please, please, please. <laughs> is this yours? Yeah, sorry, I think it's empty. Perfect. Stop, this is my new car. I do this all the time. Just Ta-da, see you spills that off. <gasps> Get out. In their new movie, For a Good Time Call, actors Lauren Miller and Ari Grainer become struggling roommates who find an unusual way to pay their bills. You. You. Hi. So our movie is a very sweet tale of female friendship um, about two girls who are, who are very different from each other. And they come together and sort of discover who they are as individuals in both, uh, as, as individuals and with each other. And they do this in the world of phone sex. I want to make a third of the profits, and I'm not getting on the phone. It's strictly business. Ooh, I like a little fire in you. Following in the footsteps of the hit movie Bridesmaids, Ari Grainer says she couldn't be happier that the door has been open for women to let loose and take over the big screen. I think it's a really exciting time with women right now, especially in the comedy world, of women sort of, you know, standing up and saying, like, you know what? We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen for ourselves, for the kind of entertainment we want to see, for the kind of movies we want to get made. And it's an incredible place to sort of be a part of that that moment. Uh, uh, uh. I love being slain. Yeah, put me in your cage. And as for those embarrassing phone sex scenes, Ari admits they made her blush just a little bit. The more outrageous it was, the less of a big deal it was in a way, and um, it was the more intimate stuff. It was the phone calls or the moments that felt more real, that felt more intimate, that felt more sexually true. That was what made me and everybody else around us kind of blush and, and, and have to pull back a little. Hey, he's a girl and I like it. Me are running a phone sex line. Boom. Audiences have a, a preconceived notion about our movie. They hear phone sex and they automatically think, dirty, crazy, too sexy, I don't want to see that, it's phone sex. It's not that at all. Yes, don't get me wrong, there are dirty jokes in there. But you know, I, I think we approach it in such a, a sweet, tender way. There's no body parts, there's no crazy sex in there. It literally is all talk and at its core is a story about female friendship. And it's about two girls who, you know, just because one of them peed in the other one's hair in college doesn't mean they can't be best friends 10 years later. Uh, a three-way? Yes, we can do that. I'm Kitty, and I'm here with my friend. I'm Caddy. Hello, Kitty and Caddy. That's, uh, guarantee you that's gonna confuse me once I start. <laughs> 